that we are recording. I'm going to take off our overlays. And now we got just me. Hello. Happy December 2022. I decided I wanted to try and do one last big project before moving into the next year. I have started taking violin lessons again for the past couple of months now, and I've been making some really good steps. But of course, when you are trying to grow and always reach that next level, it's really hard to look back and be able to see your progress. So I decided why not actively keep track of it and film my practice sessions throughout the month and piece together a month's worth of violin work and hopefully be able to see that I might have gotten a bit better. That's that's a hope. Okay, so this ended up being a bit more than a practice vlog. Over the course of the next few months, I brought my camera with me to recording sessions, rehearsals with the bands I play for, to venues, to studios, as well as filming my violin practice. What started as a project to help me keep track of the progress I was making with my lessons turned into a tiny look into the world I've built here in Nashville, Tennessee. Ten years ago, I moved here with my cat Baloo, my violin, and not even a dream, just this need to be a musician. I've been sprinting towards that goal for so long that I've really hardly taken a step back to look at how far I've come. So putting together this video ended up being something that I really needed to see. And I would love to get to share that with you too. So let's get started by taking a look at the piece that I was assigned by my teacher, Kreitzer number eight. Thank you. What I'm gonna work on for our first day with number eight is to do some intonation work, which is mostly double stops. I'm only through 
measures two and a half. Oh man. Oh my God, it's been 23 minutes and I've done one page. All right, I wanna try and go through a bit farther and then reward myself by actually playing some of this instead of just doing drones the whole time. My Kreitzer journey had begun, but I needed to put that on pause for a moment to go record with one of the bands I play for and my dear friends, Creature Comfort. thinking before we get really started is I really didn't envision you coming in until the second verse easy cool and then I imagine you sort of doing like uh, in the blank space between the lyrics so like can you hear that yeah ready mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if you've always been this good, but damn. <laughs> I've been working my little my butt off. Yeah, your sound, it's, 
it's really apparent because like I frankly could use any of these takes because they all sound Thanks. weird. Oh, I feel better. I'm such a perfectionist. Yeah, no, that was really insane. Oh, oh bye, everybody. everybody. Thank you. See you next time. See ya. Of Call of Dutsky. Yeah, let me know. On Call of Dutsky. Ugh, I love them. And Blue. Oh. Uh, anyway, after this, I was called into another recording session with a new artist I was very excited to work for, Brad Stagg. Bum, 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 bum. Something like that. Or we could just go. And we could have her do the trims. Uh, you know? Isn't that what that's called? Uh, tremolo. Tremolo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Practice time. After a strong start with fundamentals, intonation, and drone work, I was exiting the honeymoon stage of learning this piece and getting a little frustrated. My teacher said if I have the patience to go up one BPM at a time. So tonight I've done 60 through 65. The 65 now, and then I'm gonna be done for the night. I've gotten better, but tonight feels like, tonight feels like the first night I've been like frustrated and angry. It's just, I, it, mm, I'll get it. Okay. Hey, Bubba. 
Are you upset? Are you saying I shouldn't practice anymore? I had conceded to Blue's request and stopped practicing. And right on time, too, because my friends, the fantastic duo Fire Kid, were live on Twitch doing a sneak preview for their new tracks that they graciously asked me to perform on. Joe you guys plays gotta violin. hear Joe play. <laughs> and did she play that violin? Yeah, she, she sent these tracks in. She we was were shredding so on it. happy. Yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah, it was very so cool. this is Chemical Plant Zone from Sonic 2. Sonic 2. Butley, thank you. Butley! <laughs> the most handsome man. The most handsome man. <laughs> Sir Butley. <laughs> Butley, thank you so much. Thank you for the five, dude. <laughs> and here comes Joe. My lessons began to be more focused on small, intricate details, which gave me motivation. And I think also working with so many talented, kind people gave me motivation too. to get this pedal board ready for a show with my very talented friend, DJ extraordinaire, quiet entertainer.
talks about legends of the past. They didn't have, you know, TikTok and Instagram. They didn't give it. That they had two followers or 2,000 followers. They came out to the stage. These things are backwards. How embarrassing. <laughs> it's like when you put a ring on a bat. Yeah. You already know. With the glass? Hell yeah. Um, uh, I, oh, I, I, okay, I didn't get the live set. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Next vlog. I'm, oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Do you guys want me to do a lead in or go like right on the downbeat? Because I could do a little like. Would you like that? Huh? Could we try that real quick? This is the very last one, so like this. That was the best. Oh, yeah, the best. that part again. Um. So let's talk before the final take of this piece. Hello. We have reached the end of the vlog, which means we've reached the final performance of Kreitzer number eight. And this is where I've been stuck for months. I've recorded myself trying to do this over a hundred hours. And the experience of it ended up being much more painful than I thought it was going to be. I've worked as a violinist professionally for 10 years now, playing recording sessions, gigs, teaching, and anything, because I've always been trying to make myself a better player. But I've never really let myself 
take the title of being a professional violinist because I felt the shame of not being classically trained since I was a child. Um, I did take lessons when I was younger, but I quit because it was not the right situation for me to be in. It, I, I, it wasn't the right situation for me, so me and my family made the right choice to pull me out of it. I was unhappy. But there's always been this lingering feeling of embarrassment for not having that experience and still calling myself a professional violinist, which is why I started taking lessons again, as well as, honestly, I want to learn this stuff. It's beautiful. I love it. I want to do it very, very badly. And I'm so grateful I found such a fantastic teacher. I'm going to put her things here because please follow everything she does. She's so talented and on top of that, a fantastic teacher. Um, and I've been getting a lot better and I'm learning the things I want to. So I was like, ooh, let's make a vlog and then I can actually see the progress of my classical playing back. And unfortunately, instead of that, I turned into only seeing the things that were wrong. And with that, making a lot of fantastic corrections, it was really good for me. Until this final take. And I put this pressure on myself of like, you need to play 660 notes, perfect, in two minutes. No cuts, no editing, clean. And... I couldn't do it. I got better and I got closer. It's hard for me to put my final clip up and have it not be what I dreamed it would be. But I think it's really important to put your best out instead of hiding it until you reach your unrealistic goals. And especially since this is something I'm pointing out on the internet that someone else might see. If you have that cover letter or, you know, that draft email for a job or an audition or anything, and you keep waiting because it's not good enough, there's going to come a time where you need to send it. And so I'm sending it. Here's my final performance. Thank you. 
did it. Hooray. It does feel good to get the goal done. I will say that. Did it meet the expectations I sought out for? No. Were the expectations I set out for myself fair? No. So that's already a really good lesson moving forward and something I hope that you can carry to give yourself a little more grace as you're trying to accomplish something. Once again, I want to say thank you to my wonderful teacher, Julia Dina, to my Twitch community who has supported me throughout every step of my growth for the past four years. Twitch channels over here if you want to follow, no pressure. Um, to my family, to my friends, and for you for getting to the end of this vlog. Thank you very much. And again, uh, if you have anything that you're looking to try but you're scared you're not ready yet, just do it. Just do it. I believe in you.